Dundee United's Jamie Fullerton is recovering after breaking two bones in his leg during the home defeat by Kilmarnock. The only goal at Tanner Dice came from Craig Dargo, who slotted home Andy McLaren's pass six minutes from time. That late defeat means Dundee United have now lost 15 of their 18 games this season. Kilmarnock leapfrog Rangers to go third, while Aberdeen go ninth, thanks to that point at St Johnston. He's out for the rest of the season, but Dundee United's Jamie Fullerton may have been facing up to having his foot amputated after being injured during last night's match against Kilmarnock, but for the prompt action of the club doctor. The midfielder's broken ankle was operated on this afternoon. Those standing close by heard a sickening snap as Jamie Fullerton went down after this innocuous-looking challenge. The Dundee United player had fractured and dislocated his ankle. The medical staff, led by Dr. Derek McCormack, knew it was more serious than that. As he was doing sales, I could actually see the progression um, of the discoloration which was really, um, as, it, as it was being sensed. As a result of this, um, we had to um, manipulate the fracture dislocation there and then uh, with the, uh, the aid of uh, strong, some strong pain relief. So essentially we had to pull the fracture dislocation back into place. Um, and try and realign it back into its normal um, alignment. How much force would you use for that? Can you give us an example? A significant amount of force, a lot of force. Was that a decision you had to make quite quickly in a matter of kind of seconds before was it, was the, the blueness of the foot kind of progressing? It, it was easy to make in a sense because uh, the foot was going blue uh, in front of my eyes. And did it go through your mind he could lose his foot if I don't do this? Uh, it did, yes. Held down by the club physio, the player in agony received gas and air throughout the procedure. Bear in mind there's a fracture here, so it's, it is a very, very painful thing. A gruesome task, but an essential one to restore the blood circulation. A similar injury incurred during hill walking or in road traffic accidents could have resulted in the foot having to be amputated. He may have just been doing his job, but the United doctor's quick reaction had far-reaching consequences. The quick work that Derek did on the park last night in reducing the dislocation uh, goes a long, long way to helping Jamie. The home side never really recovered from the loss of Fullerton as Craig Dargo gave Kelly all three points minutes from time. The ball's come in from the touchline and it's been rolled in short to allow me to play it first time. Um, I felt something wasn't right, not initial pain. And as I've looked down, I've seen that it's not at the right angle it should be. Um, and it was shock rather than pain that I felt immediately. Uh, I, I screamed out, which I looked trying to see who it was, but it was actually me, it was coming from within. And the pain never really hurt me there. I've waved Dave and the dog on right away because obviously I realised that it was something something serious and I wouldn't be able to carry on. And I was a bit frustrated and angry because I've, I've looked and I've known that this isn't a case I'm going to miss the last 15 of this game, it's a case I'm going to be out for a bit. And I was angry with myself a little bit. And that was my initial reaction. And then that's when you get put straight when I, when I actually got to the hospital. And it wasn't until then that the pain actually hit me. Uh, and, and the severity of the injury was explained to me. Because I was asking straight away, well, what, what, what are you talking? And he's going into detail of what I might have done. And I'm saying, no, I'm talking time scale, you know, regarding back plane. And he kind of laughed at it. And I went, no, I'm being serious. He went, well, you're actually lucky, obviously, if the circulation hadn't been restored, you could have lost your foot. You know, and then it, that's like another bolt hitting you. Uh, and obviously you come to terms with it. And with the operation going well, I'm just delighted to be up with them over. It's certainly one of the worst ones I've seen in football. Uh, I've been involved in rugby, so I have seen one or two there, but this was the worst one in football. Initially, when you run on the park and you see the problem that Jamie's presenting with, then you know it's serious. Unfortunately, as he, Jamie said earlier, I think the fact that Derek McCormick, the club doctor, was there, knew what to do. I uh, had the paramedics there, everyone was on hand. So I think it went very well, from our point of view. Not uh, particularly well for Jamie, unfortunately, with his injury, but he's come on very well. People have said to me, will you play football again? And I thought, oh, that's never ever come into it. You know, I've always believed that, that it wasn't that serious. Obviously, it was a severe injury, and you've got to respect the injury. But that never ever crossed my mind, and, and really it was just, how quick can I get back? It's all ifs and buts at the moment. Um, it's been well documented, I won't play this season, which I see is a challenge. I mean, people think I'm being a bit blasé with it, you know, it's OK, as soon as I'm back, wait there and I'll be OK. But I'm confident that way, and that's just my character, you can't change your nature. 
Um, but as I say, I'll respect the injury and time might be just a great healer. But hopefully I'll prove a few people wrong. Jamie is an extremely positive character, as you've probably heard from his interview there. And he's determined to beat all deadlines that are given to him. Now, in that respect, that's excellent. But it does also cause me a few problems because I need to hold him back. So I've got some reins in the cupboard there that I'm going to hold him back with and, <laughs> and hopefully he won't push too hard. I think we'll have our run-ins. I think there will be one or two occasions that we'll... Go on, eh? Sure. <laughs> I'm not in that field, quick smart. We're both still smiling, fortunately, so that's OK at the moment. When you go out there, the chance of injury, I mean, you could do it walking down the street, you know, especially if you're bow-legged like myself, you know. <laughs> but no, I mean, that, that is a bit of bad luck, but there's no point in being being angry with, or upset about it and feeling sorry for yourself because that won't achieve anything. That will just hinder your recovery. And the most important thing for me is to get back playing at the moment.